lock it uh, very conveniently. So just like the normal US designs, like the TSA code lock. So when we're having this uh, TSA code lock, when we travel it outside and when you pass the customer checking, so the people uh, working on the customer will not like break out your like a, a normal lock. So in this year we will have like the uh, common key. So they were using that common key to open this uh, smart lighting luggage, and it's going to be very convenient uh, for them to check in if there any dangerous things in your like the luggage. So that is about TSA lock we um, design here. And also in the back here, you guys can see, here is about our power bank. And also under here, power bottom, power bottom. And another side I introduced to you guys before, which is a two USB charging ports, two USB charging ports. So using those two charging ports, we can charge our and other electronic devices when we're using this um, writing luggage. At the same time, we can charge our uh, any other electronic devices. Like sometimes when we go out, we might be have a low power, uh, low power mode like a mobile phone, iPad, or able, and something like that. You can um, charging by this USB cable, so you can charge by this. Yeah, so that is a quite convenient, uh, I think, a very useful design for the people going out for the travel. Yeah, and also this power bank here is also a removable. So here we have got some normal trail. So when we remove the power bank, we have to put in this trail up, and also we can remove this power bank. Remove this power bank. So this power bank well looks like this. So in the front here we will have like a light. So here is a red button. So when we click that, you will see here are lights are uh, lighting here. So if that's a five light is lighting at the same time, that means this power bank has almost be fully charged. Or when it's only got one or two lights lighting, that means this battery is like a, uh, used for a long time and sometimes you have to charge it uh, directly. Yeah, I have to charge it. So the slides we're showing you the current three battery capacity. Yeah. And also in front of here, in front of in the corner here, we'll also design a USB charging port here and also the uh, round charging port for the battery itself. So we will provide you a charger for this uh, power bank. So when you uh, when the battery is out of charge, you can use this charger to charge it. And for this battery, we need only two hours to charge it fully, and like a fully charge this battery. Only need two hours to charge it. And on the back here, we got the uh, normal uh, information for this power bank, like the battery capacity. Um, in this power bank, we only got a seventy-three point twenty-six W H. Seventy-three point twenty-six W H. This is a very uh, like a um, compatible, compatible uh, like a uh, battery capacity. Of course, this one. It's under the like 160 double edge. So this battery actually can be taken onto the plant. So you can using this power bank on the plant. The airlines will allow you to take this power bank to the plant. Yeah. And also uh, for this power bank, we also pass lots of the certifications. So in first of all, we have UN38.3 and MSDS. So that too are very important for the power bank for the battery because these are very important, two very important uh, like a, um, battery certifications uh, in the whole world and even their products have those two certifications that can be sold uh, and that's, this also can be taken to the plant. Yeah. 
And also, we also got a rose and sieve certification for this power bank for you guys to review and to sell in them in different countries, especially for the European country. Yeah. And I said before, this battery can be uh, charged uh, fully in only two hours. And but uh, when you are using this full charge battery. You can actually using this battery for riding on this a uh, luggage for almost eight to thirteen kilometers. Eight to thirteen kilometers. So when you got a fully charged battery, you can ride on this a uh, luggage for almost eight to thirteen kilometers. So that's a quite long ways. So even you go out uh, for. Uh, a sport trip, uh, I thought that would be quite enough for you guys. And it also can be using for the daily community tools. If your office or if your school is not far away from your home, you can uh, use this uh, riding luggage to replace the any other um, transportation tools. Yeah. And for the SE3 Mini T, uh, we, uh, we have like a, a different design for our clients. Um, so like uh, we also accept to do OEM and ODM for this uh, riding luggage. Accept to do OEM and ODM. So like this, we can change the color for the luggage. We can change the uh, brand logo for this luggage. So that will be quite uh, convenient for you guys to do a design because we accept to do OEM and ODM. So any other requirements for our customizations or personalizations, you can contact us. You can contact us. So we'd like to provide you all detailed about these products and how we can make these uh, products better. So if you're interested in this uh, kind of the products, please leave your comment in the chat box, in the chat box. So when we see that, uh, we will reply to you guys as soon as possible. So that is about our SE3 Mini T Smart Riding Luggage. Next, I will move to another product, so which is about our Smart uh, automatically folding uh, wheelchair. So just wait me a moment, I will bring this wheelchair up to the here. So here we go, you guys will see that in the camera right now. So this is about our smart uh, wheelchairs. So it has like a lot of uh, uh, in tangent functional, like uh, we can control this virtual by the normal joystick, so that every uh, virtuous have have this uh, small joystick, and also we will have like a remote. We have a remote, and also we can control this uh, virtual by this remote, uh, like a joystick, small joystick, remote joystick, and also. For this uh, smart uh, wheelchair, we also can control that uh, by our um, mobile phone app. Mobile phone app, so application that also can help this um, wheelchair to moving around. And also another very important and a very uh, helpful function for this uh, electronic wheelchair is about its automatically folding function automatically folding function. So that is a quite uh, important and I thought most helpful function for this uh, electronic wheelchair. And we also got a lot of patents for this uh, function, uh, like innovator, innovator function, innovator function for this automatically folding, folding function. Yeah. So let me just show you guys and about this virtue. So actually at the first, we can using our hands to moving this wheelchair. So just like the normal one, we can uh, using our hands to push this virtue. And also we will see here in the back, we have got two uh, yellow uh, bottom, 
yellow bottom. So when we uh, need to use in the electronic mode, we have to put in this uh, to the electronic mode. And then we should open this a uh, power bank. Open this power bank, which is under the seat, which is under the seat. So now, in the electronic mode, we are not using our hand to move in this virtual anymore. So we can use the joystick. So first of all, I will teach you, uh, introduce the normal joystick. So if you hearing ding, that means it's uh, it's on the mode. It's on. It's already on. And now you will see the lights in the virtual here. I mean, uh, it's a fully charged and it can be moved. Like here, you can use this small joystick and in your right hand. Or you can also like to add in this uh, joystick to your left and hand side. So both hand side is uh, possible. So it depends on your like um, using, uh, normally using hand. So like me, we always using the right hand. So I push it to the right one here. And I can using this a joystick uh, to control this wheelchair, go ahead, turn around, moving anywhere I want. And when we turn around and reversing, the speed of this wheelchair will a little bit slower because we want to make sure that people are disabled like the safety. So when we're moving this a wheelchair, like a turn around or reversing, it will have very slow speed. But when you go ahead, the speed can be very fast, can be very fast. Um, but it also have a limitation. So the highest speed for this wheelchairs, we only design for six kilometers per hour, six kilometers per hour, because we do not want this a wheelchair uh, moving too uh, too fast. We have to make sure the safety of the disabled when they're using this electronic wheelchair. And also for the speed, it can be adjustable. We will have level one to level five. So five different speed levels for this wheelchair. You can uh, set that uh, by your hands to press the left bottom or the right bottom. So this can be uh, changed. And also for this virtue, we also have knob. So when you press this uh, right bottom, you will hear like a very large and noise about the lungs. And also we design a light, yeah, the head light. So when you click that, it will be lighting. If you click it again, it's closer. So that is about the head lighting. So even you using this a virtual at night or even at like a, a rainy day, it will be possible to make sure the frown uh, let the road in front of you more clearly, more clearly. So that is about our uh, electronic wheelchair, which can moving very uh, comfortable and um, moving very smooth. Yeah, so that is about the normal using mode, using the normal joystick. Yeah, and also I can show you guys how about the, uh, like the automatically through funding a uh, folding mode. So when we using the automatically folding mode, we have to press this uh, opening button to make sure this, uh, which is this joystick is in the closed mode. And when we press the left bottom for three seconds, so this virtual will be automatically to fold to a small size by itself. And you don't need your hands to push it or to like uh, fold it by yourself. So it can be folded uh, by itself. Like this, a quite small size. So in that size, uh, you can actually to putting this uh, electronic uh, wheelchairs on the uh, trunk of your car, so you can take it to anywhere you want when it's in the small folding mode. And also, when you're pressing the left 
bottom for another three seconds. So it can make this uh, very choose to automatically to like expand to the normal using mode. Normal using mode when you press this uh, right bottom for three seconds. Yeah. So like that, it's going to be a normal using mode and uh, you can use in this uh, wheelchair when you're going out and you can still sit on this wheelchair very conveniently. So I'll show you guys again about like automatically to folding mode. Left bottom for three seconds. It will be folded up by itself. It's quite convenient. Uh, you don't need your hands to moving this uh, wheelchair to fold it, so it can be folded by itself. And also, when you press the right bottom for another three seconds, so like this, uh, it will expand to the normal using mode. Expand to the normal using mode. So you don't need your hands to helping this to fold. This will be quite convenient, uh, like a function for that. And also for this wheelchair, we also can use in this uh, remote control to control this wheelchair. Like uh, first of all, we have to press the open button on this uh, remote control. It's appeared. So when it's appeared, uh, the virtual will have tick, 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 like three these sound now noises to make sure it's uh, connected. And then you can using this uh, remote control to control this virtual to move like this. So you don't need to pushing these uh, virtuals anymore, and you just need your uh, remote control. It can um, making this virtual is uh, moving to anywhere you want. So like uh, in the family, if you have a disabled people, and I thought this will be uh, much helpful, and you can make a disabled uh, come uh, over to you, or it can go ahead to anywhere they want, anywhere they want. And actually, even you are disabled and you don't like to using this um, remote uh, remote. If you don't not using this normal uh, joystick and you want to using this remote one, you can also using remote uh, like a, a remote joystick to control this virtual. And also, it can help you to uh, greater the speed level greater or level down the speed level. So that is also can be controlled by this a remote con uh, controller. And also you guys will see in this remote control here, in front of here, we also got another two bottom, another two bottom. So press this uh, the first one, it's about the light. So it's about a long, like when you Hold press that, it will have like a non noise. And also in the behind, it's about the headlights. Headlights. So when we click this again, it's going to be off. Click it again, it's on. So that also can control the alarms and also the head, the light, the light, headlights. So that's a quite convenient way using this. Uh, remote control to control this uh, electronic wheelchair. It's quite convenient for you guys using remote control to control wheelchair. And even when you having any um, another like a people and want to um, making a remote control where you go, I thought this will be also very import a convenient function for that. Like this. And the speeds are also very slow when you just uh, do the round 
at your head and also when you're reversing and you're going back, uh, the speed we also designed very slow and at the same time the alarm will have the noises uh, to announce people behind you, yeah? Got it? So that's a quite convenient uh, for guys to using this remote control to control this virtual. And also for this remote control, we can also uh, to control this virtual uh, fold, folding, automatically folding, like I will show you in this uh, at Andrews. So I hope you guys can see it clearly. So firstly, as saying, we have to close this remote control. And also press this at B bottom, B bottom for three seconds. And the wheelchairs will have like noises and when they folding, it's also fold by itself. It's also fold by itself. When you just press that a button for three seconds, it will be fold by itself. Yeah. And you can press another uh, button like A button. So if you're making this virtual expand to the normal using mode. Sorry. So like that, it will expand to the normal using mode and you don't need your hands to helping it to fold or something. Yeah. Same, I show you guys again about the automatic folding function. B bottom, three seconds. It's will be automatically to fold by itself. You don't need your hands to pressing that anymore. And we also have like a US patent and European patent for this uh, innovative design. So this automatically folding design, we also applied for a lot of the um, patents uh, in the European and America and any other countries. So other people can sell in these uh, products. And also press A button for three seconds. It will expand to the uh, normal using mode. Normal using mode. So you will see that's a quite convenient for you guys who using this mode. And you just need to do is about this uh, fit panel. You have to make sure it can be. Uh, back to the normal using mode, yeah. And also another side, open that, I'm waiting for this up here, and you can using the remote control to control this virtual. Moving, folding, and uh, anywhere, uh, anywhere you want. And also have lights. The lights have like a numb, so that's quite convenient for you guys to using the remote control. Remote control. Annie, can you pick up my phone? My phone, please. So for this uh, wheelchair, we also allowed uh, for you uh, guys to uh, opening uh, using the uh, mobile phone to control this wheelchair to move. So like uh, firstly, uh, we have to connect it, uh, this wheelchair within our L will application. So we'll have this uh, home page, Halfax home page. And also here we get a searching bottom. Searching bottom. So we'll search the any other any virtual products uh, in this uh, like uh, the company here. Right here.
So here we got the X-ray T. So we just clicked it. It will allow this wheelchair to connect with our mobile phone. And also, that is the uh, total home page for the S3 T. And in the bottom of this screen, you will see a very large opening button. So click on that. The wheelchair is uh, actually to open. And also, we can check the uh, noises, I uh, like the uh, direction for this wheelchair. And also, we can check the battery capacity for this wheelchair. And also, uh, we can uh, control the lights for the wheelchair. We can control the alarms. So we will make this wheelchair um, noises. And also for the another side, we will have like remote control. So in this one, we will have like a, a finger uh, print uh, like uh, we can use our one fingers to control this wheelchair, go ahead, reversing and turn around to moving to anywhere you guys want. So that is about our uh, remote control for this uh, wheelchair. Make sure it's going back. So we can using this uh, mobile phone to control this uh, wheelchair to move. And also this is like a one finger like a control. We also have like a joy pad. So we can using our two fingers to control this wheelchair to move. Like on our right left hand side, it's control this wheelchair. Go ahead or reverse like this. Go ahead, reverse. Go ahead and reverse. And also in our right hand, it's control this virtual moving right or moving a uh, turn right or turn left. So like a turn right, turn left, turn right, turn left. So that's a quite easy to using this uh, joy pad to control our virtual moving. Yeah, it's quite convenient. And I thought this a quite interesting like function for your guys to using our mobile phone to control this virtual. So that is about like a two different uh, controlling modes for this electronic virtual, for electronic virtual, yeah. And also for this, uh, we also can using this uh, mobile phone to control that to the automatic page of code. So like we have same, press the bottom to make sure it's closed it. And also in the mobile phone here, we will have uh, enter the folding mode. So you just need to click that and also you click the fold. So it will make this a lot of uh, will choose to fold uh, by itself, fold by itself. As you see, it's a fold to a small size, and also in this size, you can actually just dodge this a wheelchair to your car trunks. So you can take this a wheelchair to outside, whatever, uh, wherever you want to go. And for the disabled, sometimes you want to take them out for a small uh, break or travel. So it can be taking this uh, electron wheelchair, and also you can. Uh, make your make sure it's expanded to the normal user mode. So just take a click on fold. <laughs> okay, so click there to the unfold mode. Yeah. Water. 
So you guys see, it's quite convenient for your guy to using this a uh, wheelchair when you're taking them out for a trip or something else. And also, if you do not want to use it, you can just close it. Close it. It will uh, moving to the normal mode of this a uh, wheelchair. And uh, also, you can close the opening button and press this to the hand uh, pushing mode, hand pushing mode, and it can be also using our hand to um, control that. Yeah, control that. So for this uh, wheelchair, we have like four different uh, using modes. So first one, uh, the normal wheelchair has like a hand pushing. Second, we have like a normal electronic joystick for the wheelchair. And also we will have this remote control, remote control. And last one is about um, the mobile phone application control, which is a, also in kind of the remote control. So we have like a four different control modes for this uh, wheelchair. So if you guys have any interest about this uh, H3T electronic wheelchairs, uh, you can contact us directly. Um, please uh, just leave your message uh, in the chat box. Uh, when we see that, uh, we will contact you directly. So I hope you guys will like that. Uh, let's move to the next product. So the next products uh, I've introduced to you guys is about our H3 uh, S3S, 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 S3S. So this is also another electronic um, writing mode uh, luggage, electronic writing mode luggage. So you guys will see it is quite uh, similar to the SE3 and SE3 Mini T, but for the SE3S. It's for having the uh, fast speed, fast speed. So when we're moving it, it will be more uh, faster than SE3 Mini P. Because uh, we design this SE3 as the speed is up to 13 kilometers per hour. 13 kilometers per hour. We can moving this uh, SE3 as very conveniently. And also for this one, we have like a, um, the actual pie in between this uh, control handle and the six yard. So the total of it, yeah. So actual pie. So let's bring your more space for your legs. So when you're sitting on the SE3S, you're feeling it's more comfortable when you're putting your legs into this area. And for SE3S, it has like the same, same holding weight for the item itself. It has the same uh, holding weight, uh, like a loading weight for the SC3S and SC3 Mini T. We both can hold 120 kilograms, uh, 120 kilograms for the um, total weight, for the total weight. And also the item weight for the SE3S is a little bit uh, uh, heavier than SE3 Mini T. For this one, uh, we got a uh, 9.5 kilograms, 9.5 kilograms. So when you're using the SE3S, you're finding it's a little bit heavier than the SE3 Mini T. But the uh, advantage for the SE3S is about its faster speed and also the comfort, comfort, comfortable sit, uh, sitting area and uh, also uh, for the a larger captivity space. So it's all have like a different um, uh, advantages for both two luggage, both two luggage, yeah. And I can show you guys about the captivity space for the SE3S. So here, 
same, we got a TSA coder lock in this area. So uh, it's a three digital, uh, three uh, numbers uh, coded. So you can set the password by yourself. And also it's a USA, a USA design the code lock, TSA code lock. So when you go out and the customization, if they're checking your luggage, is there any dangerous products uh, in your luggage? Uh, the openness of luggage to check them or uh, check your um, uh, stuff inside of this luggage. So it's that have like a common key and this will not break out your locks. Yeah, so just one click, this can open this old luggage. And inside, inside, I show you guys, it's quite a large storage space. For the SC3T, SC, sorry, SC3S. It's a very large uh, storage space for your guys to put in your uh, luggage, uh, your clothes, um, your maybe here. You can put your laptop. Laptop. Uh, sometimes when you go to business travel and you have to take your laptop. And also, for so girls, uh, when we go out for a holiday, maybe we have to take a lot of makeup. Have to take in our cameras, GoPros, uh, and also we need for taking pictures or dresses, dress it up. Or we can put in those uh, things into these uh, storage cases uh, inside of them. And for this one, it is a 20 inch carry on luggage. 20 inch carry on luggage. So you can storage, uh, you can take in this luggage onto the plan. So you can actually carry it with you on the plant. Even it has a battery, but this battery is actually can be removable. The battery is also can be removable. So when you pass the cost for checking, you just need to take out this uh, power bank, like remove this power bank uh, for checking. And when you pass that checking, you can put in this uh, power bank back. So that you can use in this old luggage on the plant. So that's probably quite convenient for your guys to using this uh, slot arriving luggage. And I will open the uh, uh, close it and we design a zipper here. You guys will see. This is quite smooth zipper, quite smooth zipper. And we can lock the zipper in the TSA lock here. So another side is also very smooth, also very smooth when you using this uh, smooth zipper. Yeah. This can be locked in this area. So um, if you're setting password uh, and others uh, will not open your uh, luggage anymore. Yeah. And for the S is three as you guys will see. It's just a right. This is kind of the riding mode, so you can help to ride on this mode. So when you're sitting here, it will get more like a foot space for you guys. But sometimes you may do not use in the riding mode, or you want to just uh, hand on the hit. It's also very easy to like do a transaction to the normal mode. Like here, uh, on the back here, we have like black code. We just press that. So it will make this a luggage like a stretch out and stretch in automatically. And also this handle will also have like small barcodes. You can um, like hide this handle like in front of your luggage. So in this way, it will look like more like the normal luggage. And the normal tool, you can just hand this electronic uh, uh, luggage Riding luggage like the normal one, like the normal luggage. So it's a quite convenient for you guys to purchasing this uh, uh, riding on luggage. So it can be used like the normal luggage and also same as can be using the right mode. So if you want me do not using the electronic mode, uh, uh, riding mode, we put in this uh, tro uh, trolley back. And we click the back photo in the back here. We'll make this uh, 
like a pipe in between these uh, handles and the sitting space uh, stretch out. And in front of here, this barcode, we open that and we can actually to put in this controlling uh, like a handle out and a lock here. We are making the normal using mode. It's quite convenient to use it. Like here, when we're moving this uh, electronic uh, lighting bag, it will be quite convenient for you guys using that. I thought uh, this uh, writing luggage will be very uh, comfortable to write on that. So sometimes when I go to shopping, I will take this uh, writing luggage. Sometimes uh, when I go, uh, go to travel, I will take this uh, writing luggage. So for me, that is a quite uh, uh, interesting product and a quite helpful product to replace uh, many, like a public transport. I don't need to uh, take a public transport, especially in the COVID uh, like, um, situation. I don't need, I don't want to like um, get in touch with too much people. So uh, I can take in this electronic scooter as my um, daily commuting tool, communicating tool. So it will be very convenient for me uh, to uh, using this uh, riding luggage. Yeah, so you guys can see it's quite smooth when I turn around, uh, I turn around, turn left, turn right. And it's a quite convenient for me to control that because we only got two controlling bottom. So first, in our right hand side, this bottom, we can make this luggage go ahead. And also in the left hand side, this is brakes. So when we just press this bottom, bottom, it will make this luggage uh, to stop and ready one. And also when we pressing these two bottom together, it's a reversing function, a reversing function. So it's quite easy. Right hand, go ahead. Left hand, brakes. Two hands together, reversing. So that's a quite convenient um, like a tool for you guys to learn how to use it and it's quite easy uh, to control this uh, writing luggage and I thought this will be uh, very convenient for you guys to using that as a daily communicating tools daily uh, like uh, communicating tools and so I will uh, invite just, just you guys to push one to um, Test. I uh, thought so this will be a quite good product for you guys to using. Yeah. And we designed it for a lot of the uh, using situation like um, going to office, go to school, um, go out for a travel, um, like sometimes you go to shopping mall or supermarkets. You can also ride on this uh, riding luggage. And for your, if you're getting this uh, riding luggage, you don't need, you can't like uh, free your hands. That means you don't need to take everything you need on your hand. You can just uh, stretch them into the large storage space, a large storage space. So that will be quite convenient for you guys to using this uh, smart uh, riding luggage. Yeah. For using the uh, SE3S. The maximum speed I said is before, it's up to 13 kilometers, uh, 13 kilometers per hour. And for the uh, maximum holding weight for this uh, riding luggage, it can up to 120 kilograms. 120 kilograms. So you don't need to worry as well be unfoldable, uh, uh, unhold your weight. You don't need to worry. It will be quite convenient for you guys to using that and holding that on your weight. Yeah. So that is about our SE3S. So for this uh, riding luggage, we also accept to do OEM and ODM.
So like, uh, if you guys have any interest on that, but you want to um, do this um, product uh, in your own brand, we can also accept to do that. So we can change our LL logo to your own brand name. And also some clients thought uh, this luggage, the color is too common and appearance a little bit uh, like too common and too uh, easier. Uh, we can also help you guys to do customizations and um, we can help you guys to do customizations and the personalizations. So if you guys have any uh, requirements as to do the OEM and ODM, you can contact us directly or please uh, just leave your uh, comments into the chat box. So when we saw that, we will uh, like contact you as soon as possible, as soon as possible. So I will invite my Annie to uh, introduce you guys some more products in our company. So I come, Annie. Hello guys, welcome to our live show. Now I will continue to introduce our product to you guys. Uh, please wait a moment. Let me choose one product. Yeah. I'm going to introduce this product that it is called OS E3 Mini T. Yeah. As you can see, it is a pink one. And I think it fits me my t-shirt today. So I choose the pink one. And the four hours is remunity. Maybe I think many girls would like this color. And the four hours is remunity. It is also a ride on luggage. Yeah, you can see. It is a rival luggage. And about the size of this suitcase, it is a 20 inch version. Yeah, it is 20 inch. And about its capacity, about its capacity, it is about 26 liter. Yeah, 26 liter inside. Maybe you guys have bought our old version that for our E3 Mini. For our E3 Mini, you can see it's a kind of advantage that is about the battery. Yeah, here is battery part. About the battery, it is behind the suitcase and it is outside the suitcase. And for this battery, actually, it is removable. Yeah, it is removable battery. You can see here is the kind of trolley here. You only need to lift it up and you can remove the battery. Yeah, this battery, it is removable. You can re Take it out from the battery, uh, from the suitcase. And here is the battery. You can also call it a power bank. Actually, it is a kind of power bank, but with large capacity. When you want to take this power bank onto the plane directly, actually, it is boring a lot. That means you can take it onto the plane directly. Uh, and about the information for the battery, the most important capacity is it is about 74 WH. The capacity it is about 74 WH. So it is boarding allowed. You can take it onto the plane directly. And okay. And uh, the charging time for the battery, the charging time it is two hours. You only need two hours to fully charge this battery, to fully charge this power bank. And uh, the next important information is. Uh, you can take it onto the plane directly. It is boarding allowed. And when you uh, meeting the customs, you only need to check it like a common power bank. Yeah, check it like a common power bank. As you can see, we have a USB charging port here. And uh, beside it, around circle, it is a charging port for the power bank. When it is out of power, here is a charging port. And this USB charging port will uh, help you to charge your electronic devices and uh, then when you go out you only need to take kind of USB cable with you you can charge this power bank you don't need to take another power bank 
and about the battery charging point in hours and how long you can use it. Yeah, about the distance, you can use it from 10 to 15 kilogram. Yeah, 10 to 15 kilogram when you make use this kind of fully charged battery. And it is removable, it is quite useful. Uh, when you check in this uh, luggage, you only need to remove the battery first and let the customers check the battery. After it has passed, you can put it to the original space. Yeah, put it to the original space. Then you can go on riding, go on riding this, ride on luggage scooters. And another function I had didn't mention that is about the front, about the front part for the battery. You guys can see here, we have a kind of red button in this part. And about the front part, it actually acts as a kind of reminder. And by pushing this button, you can see the kind of voltage. Yeah, you can choose the voltage. You can check the voltage of the battery. If it is fully charged or well, if it needs to be charged, so here is a kind of reminder. You can push it when you want to write on this suitcase. You can check the power bank, check the power, uh, capacity boost. If it is out of power, you can yeah, charge it before going out for the activities and charging on only two hours. This is quite fast, actually. It is less than two hours. I have made a kind of test. It is quite fast. Now I have put the power bank into the original space and left it down the trolley. And under the power bank, we have a kind of turning on button. Yeah. If you want to use the riding mode, you should turn on this power bank. Then beside it, we have kind of then yeah, I can write on the power bank, uh, sorry, write on the suitcase. I have turned on the suitcase, turn on the power bank. Next is I should lift up the trolley, yeah, lift up the handle. Yeah, we can call it handle. For this part, it controls the direction. Yeah, the direction, you can change it to left, to right. Here, this one, it is adjustable. You can change the direction. And also, we have kind of two buttons. Actually, we can call one left button, one right button, and one middle button. Actually, three buttons on the handle. And only these three, two, uh, three buttons, they will help you move forward, to stop, or to break, or reverse. And it is quite easy for you guys to use. First is about the kind of moving forward. About the moving forward, right button, right hand. You can move forward if you want to stop. Left hand, left button. And if you want to go reverse by using these two buttons together. Yeah, by using these two buttons together. There is a kind of controlling for the power bank, for the handle. Left one. <laughs> Left one is break, right button, speed, two buttons together is reverse. Yeah, that is the controlling for the kind of suitcase. You can turn left. Also, you can reverse. You can change directions. Yeah, it is quite easy for you guys to change the directions, to move forward. To reverse or anything, yeah, that is the controlling for the seat case. This is quite easy and convenient for you guys to learn. Next, it is about kind of, yeah, the loading weight. Maybe you guys have wondered that why can you sit on the seat case? You should damage your kind of seat case, actually. I won't damage it. Yeah, I won't damage because uh, I can show you guys about the framework, about the framework of the whole suitcase, the middle framework, this silver part. Actually, 
It is made of high quality, yeah, high quality, one hundred percent aluminum alloy. Yeah, one hundred percent aluminum alloy. It is high quality and it is quite stable and sturdy. That means it can hold me. It can, even though uh, maybe I have um, yeah maybe a roof what yeah I won't uh tell you my weight, but I can tell you its max loading weight. About the max loading weight of this suitcase, it has one hundred and twenty kilogram. Yeah, one hundred and twenty kilogram. One hundred and twenty kilogram. So that means it is, it is quite hard and sturdy, and the max loading weight is quite large. Even though, uh, only if you are under one hundred and twenty kilogram, you can sit on the suitcase. You can ride on it like this, or you can take it like a mobility seat. You can sit on it as you like. You can sit on it as you like. You can sit on it comfortably, or you can sit on it like a kind of ride on car, yeah, like this. So the kind of riding on the suitcase it depends on you. Anyway, what I want to mention is the max loading weight is one hundred and twenty kilogram. And about the kind of riding on this suitcase, the weight depends on you.、Uh, for me, like if you want to go to the supermarket, go to the kind of nearby shop to buy some heavy things like food, like rice, then maybe you need to lift them to your home. And this kind of matter is it is quite heavy. Maybe for some ladies, it is quite heavy for them to. Of the kind of heavy matters. So for this kind of luggage scooters, yeah, why I call it as a luggage? It's a suitcase because it has a capacity. That means we can put what you bought in the suitcase, and then you can ride on to the supermarket first. You can lift it, ride on it to choose what you would buy. Then lift the kind of A、uh, food to the counter to make, yeah, to make payment. After you made the payment, you can store your matters in the suitcase, and then you don't need to lift the heavy matters. You can lift them to the suitcase and ride then ride on to your home. So you don't need to lift heavy things, and it will help you. Uh, don't uh, yeah become much more convenient and comfortable. So I think this kind of ride on luggage scooters will be suitable for some ladies who didn't have kind of heavy strength. Also, it will be suitable for the elderly. The、uh, the heavy matters it is、uh, also difficult for the elderly to lift them up. It will maybe hurt themselves. So this kind of suitcase, this kind of ride-on luggage scooters, it you can take it like a kind of holder. You can put what you want to buy into the suitcase. Then you can ride on it. it. First, you can take it like a storage, like a container, like a holder. Then you can take it like a ride-on car, or you can call it ride-on luggage scooter. Ride on suitcase or mobility seat, mobility scooter because you can ride on it. I can take it like a mobility scooter, but for this kind of scooter, it has a kind. It is special because I can ride on it. It is not like a kind of self balancing electric scooters. It likes the kind of ride on luggage scooters. And about its capacity, yeah, about its capacity, I can show you guys. I have mentioned that the capacity is is twenty six liter. Yeah, it is twenty six liter. I can show you its its capacity. So I think twenty six liter it is enough for you guys to the supermarket, to the nearby, to put your kind of heavy. 
matters like your food or anything else. And about the kind of opening of the suitcase, maybe you guys have mentioned, have noticed. I didn't open it like the common suitcase. I would fold it down. I only need to open it from the yeah from the side from the pocket front. I can open it from the front. Here is the pocket. Yeah. So for the pocket design, it is a front open design. That means I can open this pocket from the front. It is front open. Yeah. Yeah. It is capacity. I think it is quite enough for me to put the heavy. Mm, yeah, food like rice. One uh, one bag of rice into the suitcase. Then, uh, maybe I want to buy some heavy water. I can put that inside. Uh, or I want to buy some drinks. I want to buy some snacks. I want to buy some yeah fruit or anything else into the suitcase. Then I can put that inside. Yeah, the letter. I think it is quite enough for me. Also, I use this suitcase for my daily commuting. I put my computer or put my kind of bag, a little bag with me. I can put them inside. Then I will ride on this suitcase, yeah, to the kind of railway and not railway station, or the underground station or kind of bus station. Then I can. I don't need to walk anyway. I don't need to lift my computer. I think my computer is a little bit heavy, so it is quite convenient for me. And about these two pockets, about the front pocket, actually we have designed kind of a power bank or kind of seat space for the power bank. So when you since I have mentioned this is a twenty inch suitcase, so maybe you guys will want to use it like for the airline. Yeah, you want to take it on the plane directly. You want to make it boring a lot. So you you want to take another power bank, maybe you. I wonder that one battery is not enough, so you can take another battery. Here is a space for you to store it in, and here is a sticker, so it will protect the power bank. It won't go out. And beside it, another small pocket. You can storage what you want to, uh, both into the kind of during the trip. Then we also design kind of to care for the. We have designed two lockers. Yeah, so I have mentioned it has front open design. Just like me, I have opened it from the front, and the lockers are not on. So when I open the kind of pocket from the front, it will open suddenly, and maybe the matters in this part will fall out. So these two lockers, these two lockers act as kind of protector. It will protect the matters in the front, yeah, in this front pocket. Then after you have packed up your matters, you can close them with our zip pull. And the final protector of the suitcase, it is actually our TSA customer lock. It should be our international TSA customer lock. I can show you from the front. Yeah, here is the kind of. International TSA customer lock. Yeah, here, international TSA customer lock. I can close them. I can lock them right now. And uh, for the kind of locker here, we have designed USB charging port. Yeah, we have kind of black cover and open it. There is a USB charging port inside. So when you're riding, like me, you can charge your electronic devices at the same time. Here is another convenience we put on for you. Here is a USB charging port for you guys. So it will be convenient and yeah, helpful for those enjoy taking photos during trip or shooting videos. It is quite helpful, and it will be helpful to those guys enjoy chatting with your friends. So maybe you will use up your kind of wallet of the phone, or you can charge your kind of earphone or iPad or anything during the trip. And for the kind of international TSA lock, it is quite easy. You can use it like a common one. 
you can set your own passwords and uh, you only need to set them to the right passwords and push them if they open so you can set your own passwords like three numbers for you guys to set and you need to keep it in mind that is our international TSA lock it is quite convenient and uh, it is international so you don't need to worry that maybe some passwords won't uh, well, when checking the suitcase will damage them it's just international TSA customer. Yeah. And about the material I have mentioned, the framework, the middle, the sister part, it is made of high quality, 100% uh, aluminum alloy. Yeah, high quality, 100% aluminum alloy. So the max loading weight, 120 kilogram, it is really uh, has a large, a great loading weight. And the materials of the two sides, the materials of two sides, it is made high quality PC and ABS. Yeah, the materials of two sides, it is made of high quality PC and ABS. Yeah. And uh, for our SE Freemunity, we have kind of different colors for you guys to choose. I can show you guys with different colors, like right now. I can show you the uh, pink one, also this one, it's black, uh, white one, sorry, white. Pink and white, I can show you another color that says silver. Yeah, so not silver here. And about these two colors, we have white and pink. So for these two colors, you can see the kind of feeling when you look at them for at first sight, the different the kind of feeling is different for me maybe this one it feels smooth but for the pink one it feels kind of i cannot yet describe how the feeling is but this one is smooth, yeah, smoother the kind of difference the writing or the touching of the suitcase is different so you can choose this kind of suitcase uh, by choosing the kind of your favorite colors. For me, maybe I will choose this one. I will choose white. Also, a pink one is also okay. But maybe I I think I would better choose this one. It suits my different clothes. Uh, suits my kind of, yeah. I didn't need to worry that I, maybe I will kind of bring or other clothes. Maybe it didn't feel a fit with the suitcase. Anyway, that's, both of them are okay. You can choose them according to your kind of choice, according to your requirements. And about this kind of suitcase, Next, I want to mention that is about the kind of ties. I have, yeah, you may have noticed that it has three wheels. Yeah, one front wheel, one front wheel, one front wheel, and two rear wheels. Yeah, we have two wheels, three wheels to control the kind of suitcase. It is also a kind. Uh, a little bit different with other suitcase for other common suitcase we got the kind of uh, what we got kind of four wheels but for our suitcase we only have three wheels and it looks uh, more like a kind of scooter So you can ride on it to the supermarket, to wherever you want. And for this kind of scooter, I think it is really helpful for those guys who cannot walk to uh, the wherever they want. Maybe someone will hurt their legs and cannot walk by themselves. For this kind of suitcase, it will help them to move around and they don't need the help of others. You can move around by using this kind of ride-on luggage scooters. 
And the next fun, uh, next information I need to mention that is about the speed. Yes, yeah, since this kind of speed case is speed, the max speed is eight kilogram power. Yeah, eight kilogram power, and the, the kind of speed it is adjustable. Yeah, it is adjust adjustable. If you want to ride on it, and you only need to push the kind of buttons to control the moving. And about the speed, it is also controlled by these buttons. If you push these buttons hard, the speed will be fast. But if you push them like slightly, the speed will be slow. So the kind of speed, it is up to you. You can control the speed according to your requirements. Maybe you want to ride on the suitcase slowly. You can push them slowly, but if you maybe you want to ride on the suitcase to catch up the bus or catch up the underground or anything, you can ride on it at the bus speed. Anyway, the speed it is adjustable and the max speed is eight kilogram power. For our mini team, max speed eight kilogram power, and about the colors you can choose. About the colors, we have kind of five, and uh, actually it is six colors. But one color is for customization, so we cannot sell them. Uh, we have kind of five colors for you guys to choose: the black one, pink, yeah, just like this one: black, pink, white, silver, and purple. Yeah, we have five colors for you guys to choose. As I have mentioned, we also accept customization. If you want to change the color of the whole suitcase, it is also okay. If you want to change the color, then we should have our minimum order quantity. Yeah, we should have our minimum order quantity. And we are recruiting distributors. Maybe for some distributors, they would choose the kind of favorite color or popular color in your country. Then maybe you want to change the color. For this kind of requirement, we accept. If you want to change the color, uh, we should have our minimum order quantity that is one hundred pieces per color and promote. Yep, color and promote. That is MOQ. And for different customization, the MOQ is different. So. If you have this kind of requirement, you can contact us. And uh, another part, we can accept customization. That is our logo part. Yeah, here is the logo part. It is in the middle of the suitcase. About the logo part, if you want to change the logo, right now it is airwheel. Yeah, right now it is airwheel. Maybe you want to change it to your own brand name. Yeah, we accept this requirement. But we also have our minimum order quantity, and the minimum order quantity is one hundred pieces per color and per model. Yeah, maybe for our SE three minute, we have kind of yeah five colors. And if you want to make kind of change the logo, maybe we should have different requirements for different colors. That is our MOQ. Anyway, if you have this requirement, you can contact us, and we will analyze the situation and tell you our requirements for MOQ and uh, for the cost. And we wait for your contact. And the next, I'm going to introduce another suitcase. That is, it has a little bit larger voltage. Larger capacity than our SE three mini T. It's why I can call it. It is a large version for of our SE three T. Yeah, it is for our SE three T. And you guys can see the kind of difference. Yeah, this one SE three T, the black one, and this pink one. It is SE three mini T. SE three mini T. And about the difference, the first one maybe you have, yeah, you have noticed the 
as is three minutes twenty inch twenty inch, but this one it is twenty four inch yeah twenty four inch. So the kind of size is different. Also the capacity is different. Size twenty inch twenty four inch capacity. This one twenty six liter twenty six liter, and this one is forty liter yeah forty liter. That is the difference for the capacity. Difference for the capacity, and、uh, therefore this kind of difference makes these two different. Because this one is is remunerated, it is a boarding suitcase. You can take it onto the plane directly. But for this one, uh, our is is retail. It is a twenty four inch. So it is not a boarding size. You cannot take it onto the plane directly, but it is the checked in luggage. Yeah, you can take it onto the plane. No, you can make it checked in. You can make it checked in. And about the other difference, anyway, they have not other any difference. And for our SE three minute and our SE three T. Uh, maybe I can make some recommendations. Maybe you guys want to choose a kind of. You have so many business travel. You have to go business. Maybe for you. Maybe you have to go business for kind of one hundred times、uh, a year. Then our S is for minty. The twenty inch one will be suitable. You can take it to the underground, to the railway station, to the airline, to the airport, to the、uh, yeah, then directly. So it has so many different、uh, places that you can walk. But maybe、uh, you are, you guys are want to finding a kind of suitcase that can storage a lot,、uh, so many things, and you want to use it for your daily commuting. Yeah. You want to use it for daily commuting. You want to use it to the area you want to go. Then our SE three T would be your best choice. So this kind of choice it would be different. Yeah, it would be different according to your requirements. Now I am going to write on our SE three T. This one is twenty four inch. For this one, I think it when I ride on it, I feel much more comfortable. Why I feel much more comfortable? You guys can see here are the sitting area. Yeah, here are the sitting area for me. It is a little bit large. It looks a little bit large, and it is actually a little bit large than our S E three mini T. So the sitting space is much more larger. When I ride on it, when I sit on it, I can feel yeah, much more comfortable. I have large space for me to sit on. And our S E three T, it is twenty four inch. Yeah, it is twenty four inch. For me, I didn't have so many business trips. I didn't do. Take plan maybe for so many times during the year, so I will choose our our SE three T. Yeah, I will choose our SE three T because for our SE three T, the speed it is、uh, faster than our SE three mini. A mini T for our mini T max speed eight kilogram power, but for our SE three T, the max speed is thirteen kilogram power. Yes,、yeah, thirteen kilogram power. So the speed is faster. Also for our SE three T, the kind of storage it is forty liter. It is forty liter. That means I have so many, uh, kind of capacity to store it. What I need to buy, maybe I can store. I can when if I want to use it for daily commuting, I can put my clothes. Yeah, put my bag or put my computer. Put kind of what daily、uh, matters. What I want to take to the office. Yeah, I can put them inside and ride in the neighborhood to the 
railway station to the bus station from the ground. So I have different metros. That is our SE three T. And for our SE three T, another important thing for, uh, I want to choose is, of course, the sitting space. Yeah, the sitting space. It has large space, and、uh, I feel much more comfortable to sit on it. Actually, our SE three T, since it has large capacity, you can use it for、uh, yeah alone. You can ride on it alone. Actually, you can choose to ride on it with your kids. You can choose to ride on it with your kids because it has twenty four inch, and max loading weight one hundred twenty two, one hundred twenty kilogram. So. For this kind of max loading weight, it is enough for you, for and for the kids. It is enough for you and the kids. So when you two ride on the suitcase together, you can enjoy the kind of riding time, ride on time together. Also, you don't need to kind of carry your kids into your shoulder. This kind of suitcase will help you a lot. Even your kids can learn how to ride on it. And for this kind of suitcase, the kind of controlling it is the same with our SE three T. Three buttons on the handle, and the handle can be lifted up and down. Can be lifted up and down. And the three buttons: left button, the middle button, and the right button. The left button is brake stop button, and the middle button is kind of lift up and down for the trolley. Yeah, handle the lift up and down for the handle, and the right one is a kind of move forward speed up button. Yeah, I can. I enjoy riding on this suitcase. I don't need to walk anyway. That is it for a big. Convenient for you guys. And for our SE three T, right button, speed, left, brake, gather, reverse. It is quite easy and useful for you guys to learn. And about the controlling of the speed, the controlling of the speed, it uses the kind of. If you push them hard, faster speed. If you push them slowly, the speed will be slowly. So that is kind of controlling for the speed. It is quite easy for those guys, even the kind of the kids, the elderly, or you, the young people can learn it quite fast. It is quite easy and really convenient. And for the kind of controlling part, for the suitcase, the most important that is the handle part. I have mentioned how to use it. The next important part is it is about the power bank. This one here is the power bank. Here is the power bank for you guys to control this kind of suitcase. It can. Provides you the energy, provides you the power for the suitcase to move around, and this kind of trolley can be lifted up. And I can show you guys this kind of suitcase requires ride on longest scooters. Actually, it can also it can also be pulled. Yeah, you can be pull it. And this one is a power bank, and it is removable. I can remove it from the suitcase, but when you remove it,、uh, just like me, you should turn off the suitcase first. Turn off it. There is a power bank, and it is falling allowed. Yeah, it is falling allowed. You can take it onto the plane directly. Take it onto the plane directly. When you want to check it in, you only need to make it to the suitcase. Yeah, you can check it like a common power bank, but for this kind of power bank, maybe it has large capacity. It has the USB charging port for you guys to charge your electronic devices. So when you go out, you don't need to take another power bank. Only one power bank 
it can provide power for the suitcase. Also, it can provide power for your electronic devices. You only need to take your USB charging tape. And this one here is a kind of charging port for the battery. When it is out of power, you can charge it. And uh, for the front, it shows you guys the it's fantastic. The wallet, you can call it wallet, you can call it fantastic. For the power bank, push it. Now here is one green line. That means this kind of power bank it has one wallet inside. When it is fully charged, it should have two lights. So maybe after the online show, I need to charge this power bank. Yeah, I need to charge them. Here is power bank. Now about another important information about this power bank, it should be its capacity, or you can call it voltage. The Capacity is 74, yes, yeah, 74 double edge, 74 double edge. Maybe you have no idea about this number. I can show you guys with some examples. The charging time two hours. Charging time two hours, and you can use it for 10 to 15 kilograms. Yeah, 10 to 15 kilograms. A fully charged battery, a fully charged power bank. Charging time two hours. You can use them for 10 to 15 kilograms. 10 to 15 kilograms. That is the power bank. I can put it to the original space. Now I want to use the writing mode. I can turn on the suitcase. And beside it, we have a kind of considerable design. That is the, here is the kind of cover for the USB charging port. Yeah, here we have designed USB charging port for you guys. We have designed too. So when you're riding, you can charge your electronic devices at the same time. And if you don't want to use them, you can close them with the cover here. Yeah, you can close them with the cover. And you don't need to worry that it would be damaged by the water or anything. It is quite safe. Now I want to write on the suitcase again. And about the middle framework, it is also the same material. About the middle framework, it is 100% aluminum alley. 100% yeah, aluminum alley. So it's the max loading weight, 120 kg. It is quite hard, it is quite stable. Yeah, it is quite sturdy. And about the material of the two sides, the pocket, the materials of outside pocket. It is made of high quality PC and ABS. Yeah, high quality PC and ABS. And about the sitting area, you guys can see now I have right on it, and I still have this large space. So maybe my kind of I didn't have kids, but if you have kids, your kids can sit in front of you. They can sit in front of you. And then you guys can ride on the suitcase and enjoy the family time together. Enjoy your leisure time, enjoy your free time. And for our SE3T, all photographs are on the suitcase. Maybe someone will sit in front, here are the photographs before then, and you can put your feet on the suitcase. That is our SE3T. A 24 inch suitcase. Next, I'm going to show you its capacity about how large I can store with my matters. And also, it's a front open design, yeah, front open design, and it is unlocked by the international TSA lock. It is locked by international TSA customer lock here. You can set your own passwords and you only need to push them to the right password and you can open them. Next, it should be the kind of capacity inside. Yeah, can you see the capacity inside clearly? Here are the capacities we can put your clothes, put what you want to take during the trip. The capacity for 10 liter and for this kind of SE3T, 
I will choose it as my daily commuting mobility scooter because I can put so many things inside. I don't need to lift them in my hand. I don't need to carry them. I can put them into the suitcase. Then I can ride on the suitcase. And the max speed thirteen kilogram power. It is quite fast. And about the kind of power bank, there is a kind of little pocket for the another power bank. Maybe you may wonder when you go out for your walking game or to the park. Maybe one battery is not enough. You can take another one. You can put this in the suitcase. What if you want to check in? Then another power bank also is okay. And here is a kind of a larger pocket for you guys to put your、uh, electronic devices like your pet or anything like your socks or yeah any other things you want to take. Also, we have designed kind of two lockers. We have designed two lockers to protect the front pocket. Then when you open the pocket from the front, it won't open suddenly. It can protect the front matters. After you have packed them up, close them with the international TSA customer lock. Yeah, and、uh, for the two pockets, we have designed. Yeah, you guys can see it will robot the brand name, also a kind of intelligent lightning system inside. That is our SE three T. For this part, we accept OEM ODM. If you want to change the logo, we accept this requirement. Also, if you want to change the color of the suitcase, it is also acceptable. Anyway, if you have any requirement for customization, you can contact us. That is our SE three T. Max speed thirteen kilogram power. Capacity forty for forty liter, and for this suitcase, I would better recommend it as the daily commuting. Yeah, you can use it like daily commuting. You can take it onto the car trunk. Then when you arrive at some large、uh, amusement park, you can ride on them, and you don't need to hire some expensive car or expensive bike. Yeah, this kind of luggage scooter, you can take it to the underground, to the bus, to the railway station. You can also take it to the airport, but it should be checked in. Yeah, that is our SE three T. So, if you guys have any questions about this suitcase, you can contact us. You can type your comments in the. Chat box, and we will check your comments, check your messages, and try to answer you, give you reply as soon as possible. Maybe we haven't seen it during the online show. After the online show, we will check the messages. Oh my gosh! This is our SE three T, and for the SE three T. It has two colors for you guys to choose. Yeah, two colors for you guys to choose. First color is uh, yeah, the black color. Yeah, black. That is this one I ride on. We have another color that is silver. We have silver color for you guys to choose. Two colors, black and silver. These two most common and colors. So if you want to choose your favorite one. You can check it. Four hours is rated. The speed is thirty kilogram power. So when you guys want to make some circle, you should when you circle, you should、uh, ride on it at low speed. You need to be careful. That is our S E three T. And next, I'm going to introduce our、uh, hostel product called our wheel shoes. Yeah, our wheel shoes to you guys. Please 
please wait a moment and pick up the electric wheelchair. And then I'm sorry, I forgot that see. Hello you guys, I'm coming. <laughs> With my ill wheel electric wheelchairs, I have come back. That yeah, you guys can check. This is the wheelchairs. I can sit on it. And for the kind of controlling, it has so many different controlling ways. The first mode is someone can, yeah, someone can. Help you fix the kind of wheelchairs, and maybe it would be a little bit of strong. You will, you will need someone to help you, and then we have designed another function. We design kind of controller, a joystick on the right hand of the uh, the wheelchair, and the wheelchair the handle can be adjusted. The, this chip can be adjusted, and about the Kind of joystick part. I can use it to control the direction. I can control it to left, to right, to move forward or reverse. Yeah. Now I can use them to control it. Here is the kind of electric wheelchairs. About the controlling, I only need one hand. And about the safety, actually we have kind of safety belt. Yeah, here is the safety belt. Sorry, <laughs> I should adjust it. <laughs> we have a safety belt. Yeah, I can put it like this. So when when I ride on the wheelchairs, it can protect me. Yeah, that is the wheelchairs. Actually, I am a little bit tired, so I choose the wheelchair. About the wheelchairs, we have the function. We can change the direction with the joystick on the right hand. That is the second way to control them. And another controlling way that is, I can use my remote control. Please wait a moment. Here is a kind of remote control. I can use the remote control to control this wheelchair. I don't need to use the joystick here. I can use the joystick on the remote control. Now I should turn on the remote control first. Yeah, now it has uh, control. The green light is on. That means this suitcase it is power on. Now I control it with the remote control. Control it to turn left, turn right. Wow. Or reverse. When it's reverse, it has kind of alarm to make other notice that to be careful. I can control it with the remote control. Yeah. And the speed it is also adjustable. We have kind of five speeds for you guys to choose. We can adjust the speed by using the C and the dog C and dog three uh two letters here. And another function that is this kind of wheelchairs can be automatically folding, but I should. Go off the wheelchairs first. It can be automatically folding. The first way is I can push the kind of B button. I can push the B button on the wheelchair on the remote control. Then it will automatically folding. I only need to push three seconds. 
seconds. First step, you need to turn off the steel cat uh, wedges. Then push the B button for three seconds. Now you guys can see it is automatically folding. I only need one click on the button and it will automatically fold in. I don't need to touch them. That is the automatically folding function. But if you want to get it out to the normal size, want to ride on it, and I only need to push the A button for three seconds. Now it is expand to the normal size, spread, stretch itself to the normal size. This kind of position, it is all automatic. Yeah, it is automatically. It can automatically fold and unfold itself. And also, I can show you guys, even if I don't have this kind of remote control, I can control it with the kind of I can control it with the uh, buttons on the controller set. Push the left button for 3 seconds. It will automatically fold in. I didn't use the remote control. I used the buttons on the controller pad. Here is the kind of controlling of the automatically folding function. And uh, if I want to return it to the normal size, then right button 3 seconds. It will return to the normal size. I didn't need to touch them. It works automatically. Also, this kind of wheelchairs, we can control it to your car trunk here. Yeah. You can control it to the car trunk with the remote control and you only need kind of slope to the car trunk. You can control it to the car trunk first and use the kind of automatically folding function and it will uh, fold it to a small size. Then when you out, uh, arrive at your destination, you can control it to the normal size and control it to go off the car by itself and you don't need to lift them up because it is a little bit heavy you don't need to lift them up you can control them control the then go on and go off the car by, its, by itself you only need a kind of slope, slope to the car trunk so it is quite convenient for the disabled or the elderly they can go outside with you together, you shouldn't stay at home for a long time. You should, uh, they should also enjoy the outdoor activities. They should also enjoy the outdoor, yeah, fresh air and the kind of so many different excellent things. They can go outside by themselves. So it is kind of really helpful adventure uh, for the kind of disabled. It is quite for the elderly, they can enjoy their leisure time, they can enjoy the outdoor, um, so many amazing things by themselves. They shouldn't uh, stay at the home for a long time, or by themselves or alone. They can uh, ride on the wheelchairs to find their friends. Yeah. For this kind of wheelchairs, they can control it by themselves, and it is quite easy for them to learn. If you, if they don't know how to control it with a remote control, they only need the kind of joystick on the right hand. They only need this one to control the directions. And they didn't. Need to pull. They only need this to control the direction. That is uh, automatically folding and the controlling for the wheelchairs. And we have got the patent. Yeah, we have got the patent for the automatically folding function.
we have both the patterns. So if you guys want to choose automatic folding function, yeah, you can uh, find air wheel and get your kind of automatically folding wheelchairs. And it will be really helpful for the kind of the people who cannot work by themselves. This is quite useful. And we have kind of form to alarm others. And we have the line kind of light. Even you guys go out at night, it can alarm others. And we have the line kind of automatically folding and unfolding function. And we have draw design that kind of joystick and we also have design kind of this one. We have you can put what you want to take into this kind of storage. We have kind of a uh, small storage for you guys to put what you want to take. Yeah, that is our electric wheelchairs. So if you guys have any questions about our products. Yeah, please contact us directly. Please contact us directly. You can leave comments. So the only the item itself, the ways for the item itself. So like you guys can see, I can use my one hand to holding on this, hold this uh, luggage. So for that luggage, uh, it's a uh, total like item weight. It's only got 7.5 kilograms, 7.5 kilograms. So that's it's a quite uh, like lightweight for a luggage. And also inside you can still uh, start a lot of things. And for this SE3 Mini T, here I introduced it to you guys. The maximum speed for this luggage, we only got um, 8 kilometers per hour. 8 kilometers per hour. We designed this uh, luggage about uh, 8 kilometers um, per hour because uh, we not only designed for a key, uh, for the adults, so like us. Uh, we also designed this product uh, for the kids uh, who is older, over like six years old. So the uh, people, uh, kids uh, who are old, uh, over like six years old can ride on this uh, smart riding luggage by themselves, by themselves. So that's why we are quite convenient, uh, like a very big choice for them, very big choice for them. And also, even you take your kids outside for a small trip, I said this uh, uh, riding smart uh, riding luggage will be uh, very uh, like helpful because sometimes I'll have a lot, lot of mothers taking their kids outside, but sometimes the kids will uh, like a, uh, stop to working like a, just sitting on the ground and they don't want to work anymore. So if you got this product, uh, the kids can ride, uh, ride on that just by themselves. So it's probably quite like a convenient product for those models. Yeah. And also for the travel luggage, so some people will concerned about the captivity space. His captivity space. So I will show you guys about the uh, captivity space inside of this luggage. So here we designed as a front open design, a front open design, front open door, like here, you can open this uh, luggage in this way. And inside uh, we got quite a large storage space for you guys to put in or storage your packing, your luggage uh, for your trip. Like uh, when, um, like the girls go out, maybe we have to take in a lot of makeups, a lot of clothes, a lot of like a small stuff. Sometimes we take in camera, GoPro, a lot of things. So we can start everything we need into this uh, carry-on luggage and we can uh, carry it to the plant, carry it, yeah, carry it with you on the plant. Yeah. 
So that is quite convenient product for guys to consult uh, if you want to take this suitcase with you on the board. And also in the here, we also design two small pockets, two small pockets. So in here, we can search a lot of the uh, small stuffs, small stuffs like here. Uh, we can search a battery, uh, extra battery for the luggage, or power bank for your mobile phone, something. And in another side, uh, we can search uh, some notebooks. Um, maybe some like uh, small stuff like the socks on the wheels or something very very small and you want to find them uh, very easier so you can start them in this way yeah and uh, quite inside it's quite deep so inside of the luggage you can still start a lot of things yeah so the total capacity space for this uh, SC3 Mini T we got 26 liter 26 liter, so it's a quite a large storage space for your guys to uh, storage everything you need for the tree. So here you can store a lot of things, and also we can close that. And in the uh, under here, sorry, it's under here. We are also got a TSA coder lock. TSA coder lock. So here is a three uh, number code. So you can set the password by your own. You can set the password by your own. And also you can lock the zipper here. Um, and also when you get in to use that, you can actually to unlock it uh, very conveniently. So just like the normal US designs, like the TSA code lock. So when we having this uh, TSA code lock, when you travel outside and when you pass the customer checking, so the people uh, working on the customer will not like break out your like a, a normal lock. So in this here, we will have like the uh, common key. So they were using that common key to open this uh, smart writing luggage, and it's will be very convenient uh, for them to checking if there are any dangerous things in your like the luggage. So that is about TSA lock we um, designed here. And also in the back here, you guys can see, here is about our power bank. And also under here, power bottom, power bottom. And another side I introduced to you guys before, which is a two USB charging ports, two USB charging ports. So using those two charging ports, we can charge our and other electronic devices when we're using this um, writing luggage. At the same time, we can charge our uh, any other electronic devices. Like sometimes when we go out, we might be have a low power, uh, low power mode like a mobile phone, iPad or e-book, and something like that. You can um, charging by this USB cable, so you can charge by this. Yeah, so that is a quite convenient, uh, I think, a very useful design for the people going out for the travel. Yeah, and also this power bank here is also a removable. So here we have got some normal trail. So when we remove the power bank, we have to put in this trail up, and also we can remove this power bank, remove this power bank. So this power bank well looks like this. So in the front here, we will have like a light. So here is a red button. So when we click that, you will see here are lights are lighting here. So if that's a five lights is lighting at the same time, that means this power bank has almost be fully charged. Or when it's only got one or two lights lighting, that means this battery is like a uh, used for a long time, and sometimes you have to charge it uh, directly. Yeah, I have to charge it. So the slides we're showing you the current three battery capacity. Yeah, and also in front of here, in front of in the corner here, we'll also design a USB charging port here. 
and also the uh, round charging ports for the battery itself. So we will provide you a charger for this uh, power bank. So when you uh, when the battery is out of charge, you can using this charger to charge it. And for this battery, we need only two hours can charge it fully, and like a fully charged this battery, only need two hours to charge it. And on the back here, we got the uh, normal uh, information for this power bank, like the battery capacity. Um, in this power bank, we only got a seventy three point twenty six double H. Seventy three point twenty six double H. This is a very uh, like um compatible, compatible uh, like a uh, battery capacity. Of course, this one is under the like one hundred and sixty double H. So this battery actually can be taken onto the plant. So you can using this power bank on the plant. The airlines will allow you to take this power bank to the plant. Yeah. And also uh, for this power bank, we also pass lots of the certifications. So in first of all, we have EN38.3 and MSDS. So that two are very important for the power bank for the battery. Because these are very important, two very important uh, like a, um, battery certifications uh, in the whole world, and even that products have those two certifications that can be sold, uh, and that so this also can be taken to the plant. Yeah, and also we also got to those and see certification for this power bank for you guys to review and to sell in them in the different countries especially for the European country, yeah. And I said before, this battery can be uh, charged uh, fully in only two hours. And but uh, when you are using this full charge battery, you can actually using this battery for riding on this uh, luggage for almost eight to 13 kilometers, eight to 13 kilometers. So when you got a fully charged battery, you can ride on this a luggage for almost eight to thirteen kilometers. So that's a quite long ways. So even you go out uh, for uh, a sport trip, uh, I thought that would be quite enough for you guys. And it also can be using for the daily community tools if your office or if your school. It's not far away from your home. You can are uh, using this uh, riding luggage to replace the any other um, transportation tools. Yeah. And for the SE Street Mini T, uh, we uh, we have like a, a different design for our clients. Um, so. Like uh, we also accept to do OEM and ODM for this uh, riding luggage. Accept to do OEM and ODM. So like this, we can change the color for the luggage. We can change the uh, brand logo for this luggage. So that will be quite uh, convenient for you guys to do a design because we accept to do OEM and ODM. So. Any other requirements for our customization or personalizations, you can contact us. You can contact us. So we'd like to provide you more detailed about this product and how we can make this a product better. So if you're interested in this uh, kind of a product, please leave your comment in the chat box. In the chat box. So when we see that, uh, we will reply to you guys as soon as possible. So that is about our SE3 Mini T Smart Riding Luggage. Next, I will move to another product, so which is about our Smart uh, Automatic Prefolding uh, Wheelchair. So just wait me a moment, I will bring this bridge here up to the here. So here we go, you guys will see that in the camera right now. 
So this is about our smart uh, wheelchairs. So it has like a lot of uh, uh, intangible functional. Like uh, we can control this wheelchair by the normal joystick. So that every uh, wheelchairs have have this uh, small joystick. And also we will have like a remote. We we'll have a remote. And also we can control this uh, wheelchair by this remote, uh, like a joystick, small joystick, remote joystick. And also for this uh, smart uh, wheelchair, we also can control that uh, by our um, mobile phone app, mobile phone app. So application that also can help this um, wheelchair to moving around. And also another very important and a very uh, helpful function for this uh, electronic wheelchair is about its automatically folding function. Automatically folding function. So that is a quite uh, important and I thought most helpful function for this uh, electronic wheelchair. And we also got a lot of patents for this uh, function. Uh, like innovator, innovator function, innovator function for this automatically folding, folding function. Yeah. So let me just show you guys um, about this virtual. So actually, at the first, we can using our hands to moving this virtual. So just like the normal one, we can uh, using our hands to push this virtual. And also, let's see. Here in the back, we have got two uh, yellow uh, bottom, yellow bottom. So when we uh, need to using the electronic mode, we have to putting this uh, to the electronic mode, and then we should open this a uh, power bank, open this power bank which is under the seat, which is under the seat. So now. In the electronic mode, we are not using our hand to move in this virtual animal, so we can use the joystick. So first of all, I will teach you, uh, introduce the normal joystick. So if you hearing ding, that means it's, uh, it's on the mode, it's, on, it's already on. And now you will see the lights in the virtual here. I mean, uh, it's a uh, fully charged and it can be moved. Like here, you can use this small joystick and in your right hand, or you can also like to adding this uh, joystick to your left and hand side. So both hand side is uh, possible. So it depends on your like um, using, uh, normally using hand. So like me, we always using the right hand. So I push it to the right one here. And I can using this a joystick uh, to control this wheelchair, go ahead, turn around, moving anywhere I want. And when we turn around and reversing, the speed of this wheelchair will a little bit slower because we want to make sure about uh, people are disabled like the safety. So when we're moving this a wheelchair, like a turn around or reversing, it will have very slow speed. But when you go ahead, the speed can be very fast, can be very fast. Um, but it also have a limitation. So the highest speed for this wheelchair, we only design for six kilometers per hour, six kilometers per hour, because we do not want this a wheelchair uh, moving too uh, too fast, we have to make sure the safety of the disabled when they're using this electronic wheelchair. And also for the speed, it can be adjustable. We will have level one to level five, so five different speed levels for this wheelchair. You can uh, set that uh, by your hands to press the left bottom or the right button. So this can be uh, changed. And also for this virtue, we also have knob. So when you press this uh, right bottom, you will hear like a very large noise about alarms. And also we design a light, yeah, the headlight. 
So when you click that, it's going to be lighting. If you click it again, it's closer. So that is about the headlighting. So even you using this aperture at night or even at like a, a rainy day, it's going to be possible to make sure the front and uh, let the road in front of you more clearly, more clearly. So that is about our uh, electronic bridge here, which can move in very uh, comfortable and um, moving very smooth. Yeah. So that is about the normal using mode, using the normal joystick. Yeah, and also I can show you guys how about the uh like the automatic facial funding a uh, folding mode. So when we are using the automatic folding mode, we have to press this uh opening button to make sure this uh which is this joystick is in the closed mode. And when we press the left button for three seconds. So this bridge here will be automatically to fold to a small size by itself. And you don't need your hand to push it or to like uh, fold it by yourself. So it can be folded uh, by itself. Like this, a quite small size. So in that size, uh, you can actually to putting this uh, electronic bridges on the a trunk of your car so you can take it to anywhere you want when it's in the small folding mode. And also when you're pressing the left button for another three seconds. So it shall make this uh wheelchair to automatically to like expand to the normal using mode normal using mode when you press this uh, right button for three seconds. Yeah, so like that, it's going to be a normal using mode and uh, you can use this uh, wheelchair when you're going out and you can still sit on this wheelchair very conveniently. So I'll show you guys again about like automatically to folding mode. Left button for three seconds. This will be folded up by itself. It's quite convenient. Uh, you don't need your hands to moving this wheelchair uh, to fold it. So it can be folded by itself. And also when you press the right button for another three seconds. So like this, uh, it will expand to the normal using mode expand to the normal using mode. So you don't need your hands to helping this to fold. This will be quite convenient, uh, like the function for that. And also for this wheelchair, we also can use in this uh, remote control to control this wheelchair. Like uh, first of all, we have to press the open button on this uh, remote control. It's appeared. So when it's paired, uh, the virtual will have beep, 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 like three this sound now noises to make sure it's uh, connected. And then you can using this uh, remote control to control this virtual to move like this. So you don't need to push in this uh, virtuals anymore, and you just need your uh, remote control. It can um, making this virtuous 